Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so I'm here with my brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Okay, so a couple of days ago I did a gameplay video showing you all Pug PUBG Mobile. Um I was doing some online gameplay and I had the FPS counter in the top right hand corner of my screen. So quite a few people was asking me how did I get the FPS counter on the display. So I'm going to sh show you how you can do that. This should work with most mobile phones. So if you're somebody who likes to record gameplays and stuff like that, like what a lot of PC gamers do and upload it onto YouTube, this will be really helpful for you. Okay, so normally you could do this by routing, but this method, it does not require any route. All it requires is for you to have an internet connection and you will also need a PC. Okay, so... First things first. Just go to the Play Store and type in Game Bench and here it is Game Bench Community Edition FPS and just go ahead and install it and then go ahead and open it up Gamebench needs access to files hit OK allow and then hit continue continue okay so you will need to go to the website getgamebench.net so just go to your PC open up your web browser and just type get dot gamebench dot net and hit enter and then just go down and download it for windows or if you're on linux download it from this link here so i'm on windows 10 so just download it And then just open it up. Hit yes. Okay, so if you get this notification here, this application requires Java runtime 1.80. Just go ahead and hit OK. And it will take you to the Java site where you can download it. Java download, agree and start download, and it's just going to download it, only takes a few seconds to download, it's a small file. Okay, so go ahead and open it up. Hit yes. Install.
okay so it's successfully installed hit close and then just go back here okay so just go back to your downloads folder and launch the game bench launcher again hit yes and then it will say connect to your device so I'm just going to reconnect it and then select allow Okay, I've got a little error here. Please launch the app on the device using the JAR. Okay, so let's just start again. Relaunch the app, Game Bench. Continue. Continue. Launch the launcher again. Okay, and on the phone now it should then say all done, finish, go ahead and hit finish. Okay, and you can close it down on your PC now. Just close all that down. Okay, disconnect. The device okay so I'm just gonna turn down the music before I launch a game just for legal reasons In fact, I'll just mute it. Okay, so it's all set up now. Okay, so for this to work, you need to launch the games through the Game Bench launcher. If you if you just launch the game, it will not work. So you have to launch the games through the Game Bench launcher. So I'm just gonna launch PUBG. Okay, click to. Okay, so please allow Game Bench to draw over the application. So click to enable and then scroll down to Game Bench and just turn it on. Hit agree. Hit OK. And now you'll notice the FPS counter up here in the top left hand, I mean right hand corner. You can drag it and move it around. And there's some settings and stuff. If you if you long press on it there, it should bring up some settings and you can adjust the settings. You can change the color and whatever. I prefer it to be green because it stands out a lot more. So you can see the frame counter going up there.
So yeah, it's it's a really cool thing to have on your phone. Like I says, if you're a gamer and you like to record um, gameplay and stuff like that, you can use it, record your gameplays and upload them to YouTube um, to show the viewers the type of frames you're getting on your device. So yeah, um, like I says, this should work with all Android phones or if not all, but most. Thanks for watching. If it helped you out, be sure to share this video around. I've got 99 frames there. I've seen that in the top right hand corner. Yeah, so be sure to share the video around. Also, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified the second I upload a video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. Deuces.